Today, we're going to set up a basic Solidity contract that allows receiving Ether and tracking who it was received from. We're going to do this using Hardhat, Waffle, and EtherJS. We'll call it Send Ether Tutorial, and we'll set up NPM. Now we'll install Hardhat. And we're going to install some libraries here. Hardhat Ethers, Ethers, Hardhat Waffle, Ethereum Waffle, and Chai. Next, we'll run npx hardhat. And we'll select create an empty hardhat.config.js. Now I'm going to open this up in Atom. In our config file, we're going to require hardhat waffle. And then we're going to use Solidity 0.8.0. .0. Let's create a contracts directory. Inside it, we'll create a file called mycontract.sol. We'll do the usual pragma solidity specifier version. My contract, open up our curly braces and we're going to need a public mapping so that we can track what address sent what ether to the contract. We'll call this account balances. And then we'll set up a receive function. This needs to be external and we'll make it payable so that it can receive ether. Inside, we'll add our logic for tracking which address sent the ether to the contract. And then we'll create one more function which returns the amount of ether deposited for a specific address. We'll name this get account balances. It will take an address. We'll call this account address. We'll make this external, it's a view, and it returns an integer. And it's going to be very simple. Account balances, and then it takes an account address. Now let's compile this to ensure there were no errors in this contract. NPX hard hat compile. And success. Now back in our hard hat project, we'll create another directory. We'll call this test. And inside test, we'll create a file called mycontract.js. Here we'll require expect from chai. Then we'll open a describe my contract, the same as our contract. And inside we'll set out some variables. One for my contract one for the first address and then inside of before each we'll do async function open up some curly braces and here we'll deploy our contract in the context of this test so my contract await ethers get contract factory pass in my contract as a string and here we'll set up our address so address one 
normally we'd set up more than one, but we only need one here to test our contract. And we'll say await ethers get signers, and then we'll actually deploy the contract. And we'll assign the deployed contract to this variable my contract. So we'll do await my contract from above deploy. And then in another describe, we'll do receive, open a function. In here, we'll actually define our test. So we'll do it. Should send ether to the contract and update the mapping. The account balance is mapping. Then we'll set the provider so that we can check the ether for our addresses. And this comes from Waffle. Now we'll add our first expectation to confirm that the contract starts with zero ether. So we'll do expect that we imported above, await provider get balance, um, which we didn't define, but it comes on provider, and then we'll pass in the address of our contract. So we'll use the my contract that we assigned the deployed contract to above, and then we'll do dot address on that. And then we'll do two equal zero. And let's run this now to confirm that it works npx hardhat test and that passes now let's actually deposit some ether from address one into the contract so we'll do await address one dot send transaction and we'll send that to my contract dot address with a value of 100 way, big spender. We'll check the balance on the contract like we did above, except now we will expect there to be 100 way in the contract's address. And there is, great. And let's do one more thing. Let's call the method that we defined in my contract to return the ether deposited for a specific address, get account balances. So we'll wait my contract, get account balances, and we'll pass in address one dot address to equal 100 and let's run this and it passes great so this all worked we've now proved that our contract can seamlessly accept ether good job if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe